Today we're going to make our opponent's deck disappear just like that. Hello there, random person on the internet, and with just enough of a lot of luck, today's deck can mill out our opponent before we ever draw our first card. Yep, we're going to archive trap some unfortunate opponents today. For 5 mana, it mills 13 cards, which isn't too impressive, but if they search their library this turn, we can cast it for free. That means if we have all 4 traps in our opening hand and our opponent uses a fetch land to search their library for land, we can fire off all the traps, mill them for 52 cards, just enough to skip our turn, pass back into their draw step where they die of not having cards in their library. But what if they don't play fetch land? Well, we got ways in the deck to trick them into it. Just like I'm tricking you into watching this ad read for cardkingdom.com, your place to go to get fetch lands and everything else magic related. Link is in the description and whoa, three traps in the opener, that's a good start. Blood crypt. Ah, thoughts he's hmm, taking the snapcaster. Alright, shock in a breeding pool, play a ruin crab to get some milling going. Opponent island, and they just pass. Okay, let's play a triome. Crab mills them for three. Yeah, looks like they're on Grixis. And they got Lurus as a companion as well. This deathright shaman should be pretty good then. Unholy heat to kill the crab? Wait, we already milled them into full delirium? Yikes. Bloodstain Maya. Oh god, yeah, please crack this. Drown in the lock to kill the shaman. Mm, okay, let's check out what they're working with. Thoughtseize. Oh, they're Death Shadow. Let's take the Bowmasters. Play a fetch land. Pass the turn. Gotta say, these traps look kinda stupid once the opponent knows that we have them. Another fetch land. Oh my god, they're cracking it. And the other one as well. Let's fire off the traps, mill them for 13. Yeah, they sadly do have a drown in the log to counter one of them. Still gonna mill them down to 19 cards left in the deck here. Crack our fetch as well. Get a survey land. And us survey the land into the yard. Well, we're in full top deck mode here. That counter might have been enough to save them. Death Shadow has a 3-3. Three, three. That's a clock. Oh wow, Wish Claw Talisman. It enters the battlefield with three wish counters and taps to remove one of them, search the library for any card, put it into a hand, but then the opponent opponent gets control of the talisman. Opponent has 19 cards left in their library. I think we'll have to risk it for the biscuit here. Make a wish with the talisman, get the last archive trap from our deck, opponent gets the wish claw, and let's see if they fall for it. You know they're thinking about it. Come on, you can get any card from your library. Oh yeah, they couldn't resist. <laughs> Swings for three. Pretty sure they just searched their library though, so mill 13, down to four cards left in the library. and. Now we can just two to four. Oh, never mind. Or we just draw it. Mesmeric Orb. Whenever a permanent becomes untapped, that permanent's controller mills a card. And uh, past the turn, they untap five permanents and. Oh, that is GG. Man, they really didn't need to use the talisman here. F's in chat for the greed. Tap that like button for the love. Cop the merch if you want to look cool. And we are right in the next one. On the play with a bit of a slow hand here, but at least we got a trap already. See what our opponent is up to. Forest and an elvish mystic. Oh, they probably don't play fetch lands if they're elves. Play a land. Miss Merrick Orb to get the milling started. Oh, they mill a natural order that technically searches their library, but I'm pretty sure we just die on the spot if they cast it. Forest. Fraley's Sky Shroud Partisan. Okay. Pluses it to untap and buff the Mystic. Oh, that triggers the op though. Miller card. And they play another Mystic. Damn, we gotta be quick here. This is gonna get out of hand real fast. Fetch for a breeding pool. Shock it in. Wish Claw Talisman. Activate it. Get another trap. Man, this is risky as hell. I don't even know if we want them to tutor here. Oh, one crater of down though. Maybe we can just mill their combo pieces to buy us a turn. Marvin the Nutra. Yeah, we are for sure dead next turn. <laughs> Leave Crowned Visionary to buff the team. Oh god, what do we even do against this? Activates Fraley's to untap a dog and an Allosaurus Shepherd. Yeah, I think that's just it. They didn't even take the bait with the talisman. Oh, another one. Wait, so they got 43 cards left in the library. Um, yeah, we're gonna play a fetch here. Get an island. Wish Claw Talisman. Activate it, get a trap. And... <coughs> Ghost Quarter? Destroy target land. Its controller may search their library for a basic land and put it onto the battlefield. Do they want a land for this? 
got him! We got him again. They couldn't help it. Well, archive trap. Archive trap. And another archive trap. Down to three cards. They untap four permanents and we actually got away with it. So what the hell? <laughs> now you might be wondering, what's happening if they don't take the bait? Well, besides forcing them to do it with these cards, they're just free to decline the search and we're just gonna lose the game if they do. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it about this deck. I mean, that's that's all it does. Bonus game. Bonus game? And it's not even the one in a million where we have all four traps and they fetch into them? To be fair though, the chance for this is about 0.007% just to have all the traps in hand. That's about once every 14,000 games. And then they also need to fetch, so yeah, this might have been a little optimistic to begin with. We're on the play, play a fetch, get a survey land, keep a fetch on top. Opponent is also playing a fetch land, sweet. They also get an undercity sewers, okay, surveyors to the yard. I mean, here comes the first trap. Mill them for 13. Oh god, yeah, their mill deck as well. That's uh, not good. Ooh, surgical extraction. Yeah, that's not good at all. Exiles our archive trap from the graveyard and every other copy from our library with it. I mean, yeah, that's just the worst. Play your ruin crap. Yeah, 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 you're right, opponent. That is probably not gonna be enough. <laughs> Play a land, mill them for three. They play a land, drown into the lock to kill the crap. Wow, our deck does nothing without the traps. Play a mesmeric orb, which will mill us as well, but maybe we get lucky somehow. Pass the turn, they mill too. Polluted delta. Yeah, I guess they can just fetch to their heart's content now. <laughs> get an island. Tasha's hideous laughter. Exiles cards from our library until we mill a total mana value of 20 and they already exiled our most expensive spell from the deck. Yikes, uh, this is gonna be over real quick. Yeah, this just ate a big chunk of our library. Well, play an island, pass the turn, orb mills three. We technically have counter magic up with this snapcaster mage here. Ruin crap. Mm, this might be a bit overkill, but <laughs> let's play the snapcaster to flashback memory labs. Oh. God, and they have a mana drain for it. Yikes. And they have a fetch for the double crap trigger as well. Brutal. Pretty sure we are about dead here. Mill two more cards. Draw Field of Ruin. Play it. Get Loros into her hands. Mill them for four. They have 25 and we have 14 cards left in the deck. Cracks it new review lad to mill us for four as well. We, oh, oh no, no, right. No, no, yeah, no, uh, we do run a single copy of Gaia's Blessing. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I mean, I take it. Wanna see more of my content? Well, check out last episode where we play magic but every spell costs zero mana. This video and more all in this playlist. Remember to tap that like button, subscribe for more, buy my shirts if you like getting that value and I will see you in the next one.